Hey guys, real quick we're going to run through the assembly and the use of the quick sticks. In front of us we have an unpackaged pair of quick sticks. There's the male adapter and the female adapter. Pre-installed are two stainless steel rotational stops. We also send two spare stops just in case any are lost while changing their position. Also included are four stainless steel clamping fasteners, two shorter for 16 millimeter poles and two longer for 18 millimeter poles. These will be used to fasten the quick sticks to your trekking poles. To install these fasteners, you will need a number two Phillips screwdriver. In front of us, we have a pair of carbon fiber trekking poles. These particular poles have an 18 millimeter diameter. To install, we'll start with the male adapter. On the lugs of the male adapter, you should see the quick sticks branding. Using the Q as a reference, position that side of the lugs upwards on your first trekking pole. With the open face of the clamp against the trekking pole, firmly push the adapter against the pole the clamp will open up and snap around it. Grabbing the female adapter, you can install it in one of two different positions. You can have the clamp openings facing the same direction, or you can have them in opposing directions, which is the way we recommend it, and we'll explain this more later. But you can set these up however best serves your needs. Once they are in your desired position, lightly engage the female adapter with the male adapter lugs by rotating clockwise a couple of degrees. Once here, take your second trekking pole and snap it into the female adapter. Before installing the clamping fasteners, adjust the position of the poles within the quick sticks as you see fit. As mentioned earlier, these are 18 millimeter poles, so we will use the longer of the two pairs of clamping fasteners. When installing these fasteners, be patient and take it slow while tightening the clamps around your poles. These clamps generate a lot of force very easily, and with carbon fiber poles in particular, you can over tighten and damage your poles. In most cases, you'll find these clamps are so effective they only require a couple of inch pounds of torque to prevent the quick sticks from slipping or rotating on your trekking poles. If you followed along exactly, your trekking poles should look like this when assembled. Installing as shown will cause the trekking poles to be slightly offset from one another, and when you twist them to form a pair of shooting sticks, this offset will increase, which gives you more room. This is particularly helpful to give better access to the accessory ring cut into the female adapter. Engaging the quick sticks is pretty straightforward. Align the male lugs with the female socket and twist clockwise to lock. You can adjust the angle the quick sticks lock at by moving the pair of rotational stops to their opposing positions. Alternatively, you can remove these stops altogether if you don't want the quick sticks to lock into a set position. To remove or reposition the rotational stops, use a number one Phillips screwdriver. Once you have removed both rotational stops, reposition them to your desired location. When installing these stops, only tighten the screws until the heads are just below the face of the female adapter. You can use the pad of your finger to feel if the screw head is sitting above or below this face. On this particular set of poles, we've cut away the lower section of foam to get a higher perch with the quick sticks. Finally, these use a tight fitment so you can carry them deployed with only one hand and not worry about them collapsing on you. Because of this tight fitment, they can generate a lot of friction, and if rotated back and forth several times very quickly, basically if you've just gotten these and are playing around with them a bunch, thermal expansion can occur and cause some squeaking. If you've done this, don't worry, just take them apart, let them sit for several minutes to cool down. Once they've cooled down, you can put them back together and the squeaking should go away. With all that done, it's just time to go hunt.